tell me I'm lost again? I must have taken a wrong turn again. this I just oh thank you very much sorry for the interruption and thanks Significant casualties, sir. Sir, FNB block report the outer wall is destroyed. Understood. Seal the inner wall now. Yes, yes sir. sir. It's as we feared, sir. We should alert the main base and have them muster civilian troops. Are you crazy? As battleship fighters, we shouldn't have to depend on civilians. Yes, sir. I know it isn't easy, Chief. This battle may seem to be lost now, but help is on the way. You mean the Viking unit? That's right. Notify the entire crew. The news should be good for morale, eh? Yes, sir. The Viking unit, Sol Tekaman Corps, are very best. But even if they arrived right now, they won't be much help in this battle against the Radon. <laughs> All the Viking Tekaman can do is buy us a little more time. No, against the Radon, the Space Knight Tekaman are our only hope! Someone wants to talk to you. They do? So you're the communications mechanic for Alpha Ship? Yes. Just in case you're wondering why I called you here, look. What is that? Well, it's a communications pad used for communicating with Tekaman. Oh no! You mean the one I asked to be fixed after the last drill because it wasn't working? I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry isn't gonna be good enough. 
I'm sorry, I'm trusting my life to a mechanic who doesn't do our job. In this unit, there are no mistakes, get it? Mistakes mean incompetence, incompetence means failure, and failure I do not tolerate. Uh, sorry! I'll get you sorry. I guess I owe you an apology as well. As supervisor, blame me. It won't happen again, Natasha. Please, let her go. Uh, uh, uh. What? You're a primary body too? Yes. I don't believe it. Goliate, let's get out of here. Guess everyone's sick of hearing it, but I am sorry, boss. You can make it up to me on your next job, Yumi. I think there's a communications pad on Alpha Ship that needs adjusting, <gasps> don't you? Yeah! Good kid, but sometimes I feel like a babysitter. Time sure have changed. <laughs> hmm? Ah, uh, well, if it ain't the apple of every girl's eye. You must be tired, David. No, 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 Nita. You ought to know. I don't get tired. Oh. Hi there. Oh, David. Oh. Huh? Excuse me. What's up, Chief? I'm looking for Yumi Francois. Tell me which one she is. Yumi? My little boneheaded mechanic? <laughs> She's right over there. That's her. Yumi Francois. you were too, Yumi. <gasps> and I'd be one of your screaming fan club. Hayato, that's not fair! Oh, you guys said something instead of hiding and just listening that whole time. <sighs> You're right, I'm sorry. It's taking them so long. When are they gonna decide on a third Tekaman candidate? I know, we keep asking the higher-ups to hurry up, but you know them. Well, it's a very delicate situation. We'll let you know when the time is right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Yumi? Yes, what is it? You really want to be a Tekaman that bad? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the main reasons I joined the Space Knights, Hayato. One of them? What are the other reasons? Hmm. <laughs> that is a secret, young man. It's a delicate situation. We'll let you know when the time is right. Right? <laughs> hey, you me! That's not oh. fair! Whoa! Good. You're both here. Huh? Oh, Chief! Hayato Kawakami, Yumi Francois, you will board the Gamma ship and take a trial run. And that's an order. Yes, Chief! Huh? Take her? Huh? Return to base with Yumi. Right, Chief. Wow, Yumi, what a surprise, huh? Who'd have thought we'd be asked to fly Gamma? Yeah. Oh, no. This thing doesn't want to open. Maybe the power's been shut down on it. Shut down? Really? Um, well, this is kind of embarrassing. Don't you think, Hayato? I guess so. Hayato? I have to, right. you know, uh -huh. change. Whoa, yeah, right. <gasps> Hayato? It's okay. I didn't see much. Captain, number three gun turret destroyed! Captain, power shield at maximum capacity! This is it! Captain, the baking unit has arrived! They must attack without delay! They're shifting to attack formation now, sir! Primary target, the Redon ship! Objective, complete destruction! 
we are the Baking Tigermen. We bring honor to this unit only through victory. What's going on? What's with the urgent meeting? Hey, Chief, is it the Radom? We'll deal with the Radom in a moment, but the first order of business is to announce my choice for the third Tekka Man. All right, Finally. We decided. Who is it? It is. Ouch! Sorry. Yumi, what's going on? What are you doing here? Well, I. She's here because I asked her. Introducing Yumi Francois. She is the third Tekka Man. Huh? <laughs> Say what? Did you say Tekaman? Wait a minute. Is this some kind of joke? You can't be serious. That is my decision. If you have a problem with it, you may resign as a Tekaman, Natasha. <sighs> well, I have no problem with it. That makes three very attractive space knights. I... I have no problem either. Now that that's settled, let's move on to Radam. His forces continue to advance and we've no time to waste. This is a simulation of you after transformation. David, Tekaman Summer, Natasha, Tekaman Vesna, and now Yumi, Tekaman Hiver. One of you will have the new Reactor Voltecker installed. Reactor? Voltecker? It's our latest development. When we captured the original Voltecker technology from Radam, we analyzed it thoroughly and made a significant improvement. We've added a crystal. When Voltecker is fired, the crystal will form an antimatter field around the target, triggering a chain reaction. The target becomes your weapon. When Voltecker is used with skill and properly controlled, the target attacks all other targets. This domino effect continues until all hostile targets are destroyed. Of course, it goes without saying a weapon of this magnitude needs a strong mind to control it. The senior council has been consulted and all members unanimously agree. Natasha will control Voltecker. Natasha? Yes, Chief. Sorry, handsome. Hey, I'm easy. You go, girl. My mind's not my strong suit. That's great, Natasha. Congratulations. Oh. Tech Man format and programming will begin in two hours. Meet at Tech Plant after your medical exam. That's all. Now I've seen everything. Time sure have changed. Who'd have thunk we'd end up using the technology of Radon? Run program. It will take ten hours for the Tekaman process to complete itself. All we can do is hope Radon's assault can be contained until then. <laughs> Forces attack! Focus on their lead ship! What now? What's that? They brought Tekaman! Process compromised. Status report. The impact of the explosion has caused a malfunction in the system. They're in trouble, Chief. You mean? David! Natasha! 
Open the emergency circuit now and activate the safety insurance system. Right. Yumi! Yumi! You've got to be strong, Yumi! Thank God. You had us very worried. Good to have you back, Natasha. Uh, see, Casanova, you can sleep alone. Huh. I see everyone's awake. Jeez. Even with this setback, the project is 90% complete. This means that the tech command functions in each of you should be operating successfully. However... However? Due to the impact of Radom's missile, there was a severe malfunction in the computer. Natasha? Yes. The reactor Voltecker data that was supposed to be installed in you... Yumi... It's been transferred to you instead. Huh? Huh? What? Transferred to me? I know you haven't had much recovery time, but this is an emergency situation. The Radom invasion has destroyed the Uranus task force, and now Radom's objective is Earth. Space Knights, it's up to us. We will deploy the Blue Earth craft immediately. We're going to intercept. Roger! Roger. Engines ready to fire now. This is your first trial in battle. Now all of you remember your training and you'll do fine. Yes, Chief. You mean you'll sit this one out. What? You haven't had enough training yet. I need you to watch the battle, observe it, and learn from it. You understand me? Yes, Chief. Begin the attack. Roger. Gamma ship, cover for Alpha and Beta. Right. Attention, watch them in combat. Ready, Ready to go? go? Ready! All right. Now! I'll never be able to do that! Before too long, you'll be able to, Yumi. They're, They're retreating. retreating! Watch, watch your back! back. What, what is, is that? that? I'm not sure. What is it, Chief? Yes, it's them. The alien Tekamen. What? Tekamen from another star, invaded and controlled by Radam. This sounds really bad. They're fast. Speed is my specialty. David, use the Voltecker! You got it! No, not yet. Huh? Oh, oh, Did we get him? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Here they come! What? Oh no! Natasha! Damn. This is it. We're lost. Unless I... Stop it! Yumi, come back here! I'm a Tekamen too. I've got 
got to help them. I'm going to help them. Gamma, retreat immediately. She isn't ready. Huh? Kill me! In front of us! What? What do we do? Oh, no! They're coming right at us! No, you mean no. Lucky the Chief fired that shot to stop Yumi. When Yumi passed out, her mental wave stopped, and that stopped Reactor Voltecker. Yeah, but if that shot had been a direct hit... Yeah, like the Chief had time to think about that. What happened, happened. But anyway, you look at it, one thing's for sure. Yumi's gonna be... Suspended! Yumi, you disobeyed a command and damaged two orbital rings. We've discussed it, and that's our decision. But that's not fair, Chief! I was just trying to help everyone! You are really conceited! I didn't ask you for help! Remember, I was selected for Reactor Voltecker! You have it by accident! So when you used it, you caused an accident! She has a point there, Yumi. But, Natasha... David! Yumi! You have no right to be a Tekka man! <gasps>
commence combat drill. Well, you gotta hand it to the kid. She's come a long way in a month. Of course, she's had good teachers. She needs more time, but Natasha and David return from vacation tomorrow, which means Blue Earthcraft will need that final checkup. And that means combat is where Yumi will finish her training. Sorry, miss. I know you left instructions not to be disturbed, but you have an important phone call. So? Who is it? Um, it's from the Major General's office. Ugh, my father. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe that'll cool him down, or at least keep me from having to listen. Uh, yes, miss. Penny for your thoughts. Hmm? Let me guess, you're thinking about a woman, right? Well, something like that. What's she like? Is she good? She's a Tekka man. She's a Tekka man and I'm in love with her. Hmm. I once loved a Tekka man. His body was very... primary. What's the matter? You don't like me? Huh? <laughs> sure I do. Let's go. All systems ready. Take her up. We're all counting on you, Yumi. Good luck. Mess is an understatement. <sighs> Come on, you guys. Like, she's not miserable enough already? Hey, Yumi, personal question. While Natasha and I were on vacation, were you and Hayato getting it on? What? Hey, David, give it a rest, will ya? Easy, dude. One more question, Yumi? Yes? After this training exercise, maybe we could celebrate. Celebrate? Yeah, there's a party in my pants. Great! A party? Ew! Gross! You better cool your jets, David. I'm warning All right, you. we're ready to perform the final training exercise size for reactor Voltecker. Stand by, everyone. Roger! You may begin.
Yumi, we're reaching the final stage. You're pretty cool about those two going off together. What are you reading? What two? David and Yumi, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty cool, all right. Goliate. Hmm? Do you have any idea where the chief is? Don't know for sure. Said she had stuff to do. I think she's staying on the orbital ring. Perhaps we can save the Earth after all. May I have your attention, please? All passengers departing on ring line flight 0507, non stop to the Schildinger Quadrant. Decline? Decline what? What are you talking about? Well, decline, uh, you know, the, um, invitation to that party, um, that you made me. Oh, that? Forget it. You have to understand. You see... I know, you like the white tech man, don't you? Huh? Old man Honda told me about it. A long time ago he rescued you or something? No! That's not it! Oh. Well, of course, I'm not saying I don't like that tech man But he's not the one. The one I'm thinking of is different, and I can't get him out of my mind. I don't even know his name. I've only met him once. And so, I decline your offer. I'm very sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? What is so funny? I wish I was just a little like you, Yumi. Huh? I love your honesty. If I could just say what I... What, David? Never you mind, Yumi. Hey, ow! <laughs> 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 oh, my feelings are Easy, so be gentle, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah. Be gentle. Decline your offer. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Very sorry. Huh? Okay. Just where do you think you're going? Well, I was going to. Wait a minute, where are you going? Who, me? I'm going to see my Yumi. What? I knew it! Don't you even think about seeing her! <laughs> no, it's my first time. Huh? I feel so naughty. What if somebody sees us? I feel so bad, but I'm so curious. Just a little bit more. That's it. It's my first time, so please, not too strong. 
Yumi! Yumi! Uh-oh, dude. You surprised us. What's going on? Well, I, uh, we, uh... Oh, you know, not much. <laughs> hey, you guys should join us. We're celebrating the completion of my training. What do you think, Natasha? Yumi? Mm. They're celebrating. celebrating. I've never had alcohol before. It's tasty, but too strong. That's what she meant. Too strong. Yeah, but I know what you thought she meant. Hey, you thought shut up. So this is where the party is. I hope we're not too late. Huh? Come on in! The more the merrier! Congratulations, girl. Let's toast to your success. Cheers! Nice of you to arrange this for Yumi. See, you've got a big heart after all. No way! I just thought it was the right thing to do, that's all. Hey, you're not fooling anybody. We all know you got a big heart. You big idiot. You see? She's just a softie. Now, just a minute. It goes till death do us part, Buster. I'm the kind of guy that's faithful to one woman. I don't run around like some people. Hey, will wow. you have a seat, man? Lighten up. You're one hell of a pilot, Anita. I'm so happy. I really feel like I'm part of the team. She's so innocent. Yeah, I envy you, Yumi. The sun had risen on the earth when Lot came to Zoar. Then the Lord reigned on Sodom and Gomorrah. Brimstone and fire from the Lord of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the valley and all the inhabitants of the cities and what grew on the ground. But, but Lot's, Lot's wife, wife, huh? But Lot's wife behind him looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Ah, uh, Chief, I didn't see you. I don't approve of superstition. Sorry, Chief. Lot's wife became a pillar of salt because she was looking back. I think it's a good idea to watch where you're going. How else do you know if it's really where you want to go? Chief, I... of the team always takes the first spot. That's all. Thanks, Natasha. Good luck, Yumi. You can count on me.
Their target is this base. Do not let them near us. Going on, continue the attack. But Chief! Now, do you hear me? <laughs> what are you doing? Listen, Listen Chief! Chief. Fight back now! But Chief, they have feelings too! They fight for Radom, now attack and that's an order! But how can we? We can't shoot! If we do, we're just murderers! Don't be soft, Yumi. She knows something crueler than hell itself. She's trying to tell us our training isn't over. She's trying to teach us that this is battle. This is war. This is battle. This is war. This is what it's like. This is what it means to be a Tekaman. This is what we do. That woman never looks back. She knows the pain of looking back. 
She knows the sadness. Lot's wife behind him looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. I'll never forget that day, a summer's day. A cool breeze was blowing. I was standing in the field. The sky was red. Waves of wheat were blowing around me. I was wearing my favorite hat. It was lost that day. A beautiful straw hat with a satin ribbon. Lost. The same day I lost my mother. My father, myself, all lost. Then I saw it. A white blade cutting through the sky. Was it a ghost or a dream? Was I dreaming? Oh, I was only dreaming. Hi, Yato. I'm telling you, man, you gotta learn how to relax. Yeah, but David, it's been a whole week since we've been on tactical alert. Don't worry, the Chief and Honda have everything under control. Next battle's gonna be heavy, that's for sure, dude. But best thing you can do is do what they're doing over there. Relax. I guess you're right. Hey, Yumi, you want to go for a swim? Yumi? Yumi! Huh? What's the matter? You seem down. Nothing. Dr. David knows she's got the love bug. Hey, who asked you? Could be. Huh? Really? The truth is... So, you guys, I hear Yumi's sweet on the white Tekaman. You're kidding. You mean Tekaman Blade? Right. She's in love with a legend with the Tekka man who fought to save mankind 10 years ago when Radam attacked the Earth. The Tekka man blade. That's crazy. He disappeared. No one knows if the guy's dead or alive. Hmm, I know. He's gone except to her. It's like she's in love with a dream. A dream? Whoever that girl's in love with ain't no dream. Dark glasses, big hair. We got ourselves an Elvis sighting. I saw him. I know, I know, and I believe in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. Hey, man, are you calling her a liar? I was just kidding. And I don't even know who he is. Mm-hmm, but you know how you feel about him. Well, no, not really. Dr. David thinks you're fooling yourself. What I think is you've got a crush on this guy, and if you want him, you should go for it. Hey, you, what kind of advice is Shut that? Shut up. Ah! Listen, Yumi. I know something about regrets, and you should do something about your feelings before they do something to you. But David, I... Of course, what do I know? Don't listen to me. I'm just David the Airhead Stud. <laughs> D 
do something about your feelings before they do something to you. You're right, David. You're right. Chief, we've got ourselves a problem. It doesn't look good. Take a look at the analysis. This is it. This is the door. Very sorry if I'm bothering you. My name is my name is Yumi Francois. Do you remember me? I was I, I was Oh, excuse me, what was your name? D Ah, that's it. Is that your name? That's it, isn't it? May I call you D? Sure is a strange name though. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> this morning, I had a dream. It seemed so real and you were there, but you were the white Tekka man. Really? Mm-hmm. The Tekka man blade. Some people think he's dead. You know who I mean? Well, in the dream, it's a long time ago and I'm a child. It's beautiful but frightening. I saw a blade streak across the sky. Then I lost him. I searched and searched, but I was surrounded by Radan soldiers. That's all I can remember. I wasn't really scared at all. It's strange, I know, but I remember being very happy. Happy? How so? I wanted to be a Tekka man. I wanted to be with Tekka Man Blade. I wanted to... I wanted to fight alongside Tekka Man Blade and save the planet from the forces of Radom. But my dream never became a reality. And then the rumors started spreading that Tekka Man Blade was dead. But that only made my desire grow even stronger. I was more determined than ever to become a Space Knight Tekka Man. I couldn't believe my luck when I was chosen. I just... Couldn't believe it. Sometimes I wonder if I even deserve to be a Tekka man, and... Of course you do. Huh? Luck has nothing to do with you being a Tekka man, Yumi. <gasps> oh. According to my calculations, we have five days till the encounter. And it doesn't look good. I knew he'd understand. I just knew it. <gasps> Please don't go! Thank you. 
Oops, sorry. Sorry to bother you. I have to be going! Oh, and by the way, will I... Will I ever get to see you again? Excuse me, sorry. Oh, and one last thing. That D in your name, could it stand for dream? It could. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh! Mm. <gasps> Chief! Return to your quarters, Yumi. Yes, I will. I have the results. These are images of the Radam fleet as taken from our observation satellites. Pathetic. We're gonna kick their butts. Put a sock in it. Go on, Chief. That's what they want you to think, but they're using a reactor in conjunction with the micro black hole. Using this black hole technology, their flagship has absorbed the other ships in the fleet in order to increase its weight. They decrease the number of units in their fleet, but increase the weight and strength of their flagship. We're certain their plan is to crash that flagship into the Earth. Into the Earth? You gotta be kidding. Now, they lack maneuverability and firepower. We have both. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the Space Knights have been selected to counter the attack. With that added weight, the Radam flagship will be unable to gain warp speed. It will attempt to accelerate with a gravitational jump using the sun as a slingshot. This will be our point of attack. Approximately 98 hours from now, a small planet, Tokitas, will pass by this region. Using reactor Voltecker, we will force Tokitas to collide with the Radam flagship, thus knocking it out of orbit. Yumi, Earth's fate is in your hands. Hey. Uh, yes, Chief! It's a big responsibility. Yes, Chief. The action will begin in three days. See that your subordinates are well briefed. That is all. Dismissed. Right, right Chief! Hey, Dale, oh, this is Chief, I need to talk to you. Hmm? That man in the sunglasses, what's your relationship with him? Yumi, there's a battle to think about. Excuse me, Chief, but I'm too upset. I can't think. I can't go into battle feeling this way. Yumi, listen to me. But Chief, you don't understand. I'm in love with him. I am. Okay. Fine. Then I'll be honest with you. I love him too. And I think he feels the same about me. That's the way it is. We met ten years ago. He and I have fought together many times. I wanted to help him. That's why I became a Tekka man. It was he that inspired me. He inspired you too. The Space Knights were entirely his creation. And if you care for him, you must use your talents and save the Earth from Radam. Do you understand? <laughs> so that's all I have to do then? All I have to do is just save the Earth and defeat the Radam, and then maybe he'll notice me? Listen, Yumi, you're upset. I'm going! Come back! <laughs> Hi, Yumi. Hi, Ato. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Did I hurt you? You have to help uh, me! Help you? Um, okay. Hayato and Yumi are in the Alpha ship. Contact them immediately. Can't do it, Chief. They cut off communication. What are they doing? They're attacking Radam. They're crazy. All units mobilize immediately. I need you to bring them back here now. Roger! <laughs> I'm sorry for getting you involved, Hayato. If you think about it, it's only natural he would have someone. He's so handsome. He's great. Why did it have to be the chief? I really couldn't tell you. I guess I just got ahead of myself. Well, don't worry about it, Yumi. I do that too sometimes, you know? Thank you, Hayato. So that's the reason they took off. Yeah. That's great. Yumi's in love. She couldn't have picked the worst time. 
Well, I'm partly to blame. What? Chief, the Radom flagship has stopped moving. What? What are they up to now? You scared, Yumi? No. After all, it was my idea. If I chicken out now, I'll never prove I'm as good as the Chief is, Hayato. Come in, lovebirds. What, are you running away together? If it's attention you want, you got it. You guys were listening? We're here to escort you home. Just a minute. You're here too, Anita? The Radom ship's doing something weird. Attention, all units. Listen up. It's the Radom flagship. We're not sure what it's doing. It's behaving erratically. All units track and observe the flagship. Roger. Yumi and Hayato. <gasps> Whatever you are up to, drop it. Fall in and support the team on this mission, understood? Yes, Chief. <laughs> What? What is that thing? What the? It looks like they're generating an energy stream, but what for? And look at the battleships behind it. Hold on. What are you thinking, Chief? They plan to explode the ships instead of absorbing them. That will propel the flagship towards Earth. And that energy stream will act like a giant railway. Honda, this facility's on red alert. Right, Chief. Yumi, David, let's do it, guys! You got it! Here, it looks to me like the enemy ships are about to explode. I don't believe it! They just keep coming! <sighs> D-Boy. The D is for dream, is it? That's what she called you? <laughs> And all this time, I thought the D was for dangerous. Because you're such a very dangerous guy, D-boy. The last 10 years were spent preparing for this day. Our dream has come true. Today is the day. The time is now. The 
Chief? No. It's Tekkaman Blade! This time, it's not a dream. That's right. Chief! Then it is true. It's time to commence our engagement with the Radam flagship. Are you ready? Ready! Yumi, Tekkaman Blade will be leading the attack. I want you to fight alongside him. Can you do it? Yes, Chief! The rest of you, cover them. Let's go! Wow! He's fast! Heads up, you two! the back of the ship. Roger! Watch me, Tekka Man Blade. I mean, D-Boy. Watch me save the Earth! Reactor! Yeah. Aim it at my Voltec. You did it, Yumi! No demerits for you. Your record's clean. I wouldn't go that far, but she did do a good job. Thank you, Chief. He was Tekkaman Blade. Yes. Chief, I have something to tell you. This battle's not over. I'm not giving up on D-Boy. I'm warning you. Yumi! Better watch your mouth. You're talking to the chief. Okay. You're on. I am? I mean, that's great! I'll spare in love and war! Yumi... Whatever you say. Hey, wait up! Yumi, about your attitude. I never asked to be a Tekkaman. It was forced upon me. But I have taken that responsibility and transformed it. The stage is set for a new world order. My vision is taking shape and will soon become reality. For the new Tekkaman, dedicated to the survival of humanity. I now have faith. We will prevail. That sad dream from my childhood is over. I have a new dream now. A dream that I know will come true. I am Yumi Francois, Tekkaman Hiver.
done yet. Oh, There's Natasha, one more Anita. store I've been dying to get. To. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. Did you feel it too? Yeah. Get out of the way! <laughs> Watch it! You idiot! Get out of the street! D boy. What is he doing? D boy. Can't forget. I feel like such a loser. I haven't made anything out of my life. When I was young, I was a know nothing punk. And I met her. <laughs> Hi there, want some company? But am I any different now? Have I changed at all? I can't even tell her how I feel. I'm still just a kid. Huh? Sorry if I startled you, but that music you're playing is so beautiful. I couldn't help myself. I had to come over here and see where it was coming from. Hmm, couldn't help yourself. What'll we do about that? Huh? What are we gonna do about the little man who can't stay away from a sad tune? Maybe his soul's tormented. Maybe he wishes he were dead. If that's the case, 
He sure came to the right place, didn't he? I'll say. What's your problem? Sorry, but we're all full up here. No vacancy. Find someplace else. Whatever. You know how to play. Thanks for the song. I used to play harmonica. If our paths ever cross in the future, I hope you'll play for me again. Keep it. You do seem sad. You seem heartbroken. I know what that's like. That's why my song is so sad. I know how you feel. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about your situation. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed the music. Maybe we will meet again. Adios. Hey, wait a minute. Wait! D-Boy? What do you mean? Is he gonna be alright? We don't know, you jerk! What the heck do you think you were doing running off like that, David? Easy does it. Doesn't do any good shouting at him, Hayato. Oh, yeah? Oh, Chief! Chief, where's D-Boy? How is he, Chief? How's he doing? Don't worry, everybody. He's well and he's safe. Oh, thank God. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get out there and go kick some Radam butt! Now, just a minute. Chief, I had a premonition about this. A little while ago, I was able to see D-Boy fighting a Tekaman. I did, too! I've calculated his approximate location. Chief, we need to get air. Come, come on, Chief! Let us Chief. Give us an order. Gotta let us go give get him! Defeated? D-Boy? Well, at least we were able to save his life. Yes. I remember... In the past, we've had similar struggles. I know. He battled tirelessly day after day against Radam. He claimed that he was the only one capable of facing the challenge. And to that end, he never changed. I've seen him battered and wounded ten times over, trying to protect the Earth from the wrath of Radam. D-Boy, I hope you know I am fighting this battle because I believe in you. I believe the day will come when we defeat Radam. I believe that there will be peace once again. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's embarrassing. How is Yumi doing? Still upset about not going into battle? Hmm. Don't worry. You know you did the right thing by not letting them go. They wouldn't have stood a chance. Yeah. But I... I understand how they all feel with D-Boy nearly defeated. We all want some revenge. I understand also. <laughs> I understand because I want it too. I want revenge. I was defeated. Yumi, I know, but crying, it really doesn't help. I know, but still. I... I can't believe it! <laughs> Will you shut up? You're stupid crying and sniveling. You call yourself a Tekka man? Know what you are? Now that is enough. Who asked what? you? You're just a brainless support team pilot. What do you know? Hold on, Natasha. What do you mean, support team? Please <laughs> huh? Listening to you, you people make me sick, bunch of spoiled brats. David! Just leave me out of this. I don't want any part of it. I'm sorry, everyone. I just lost it. Hey, we all lost it. I don't know, man. David seems really tweaked. I should go see what's wrong. Hey, Yumi. David! David! What now? I, I... I... You're probably here to confess your undying love for me. What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, that's not it. I was gonna say, that's how I feel about you. Ah! <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we all were a little panicked when we got the news about D-Boy. And you were especially panicked, right? Right. 
Well, I guess that's the way everyone feels about D-Boy. It's kind of like he's a god or something. And how do you feel, David? Unlike all of you, I'm here for different reasons, Yumi. Like what? Just forget it. Oh, you treat me like such a child! I'm like you. I want D-Boy to be strong and invincible forever. I will not let him be defeated by any enemy. David? Poor David. He was just as affected by D-Boy's defeat as the rest of us were. Hmm? This is weird. I was supposed to be going back to my room. <laughs> Sure, but I'm not the only one here to help. Hey! Can you use our help? Guess we're gonna be disobeying a direct military order. It's a first for me. Think we can handle the consequences, Hayato? Sure! Oh, my, thank you! <laughs> now, now, Tekka Man Hiver. Come on, this is no time to be crying. You're right! using a booster rocket should let us sneak out without using the catapult as long as you mean sure we can lift off without it let's do it <laughs> well you know i've always wanted to try it shall we we shall we shall indeed well okay Blastcraft! let's move okay <laughs> They're joking. They what? I'm afraid the joke's on us. Well, I'm not laughing. Let's move. Right. D-Boy. This is where the telepathic signal must have come from. You're right. That district's mostly a slum. Pretty high poverty rate. Right. <gasps> What's that? We're gonna find out. Blade may have lost the battle, but we're not gonna let those bastards win the war, are we? I'll never forgive them for what they did to D-Boy. Let's go.
Each of them fighting the fear and doubt that's inside them. Each of them fighting for your survival blade. We fight for you, D-Boy! We fight for your dream! Fighting for my survival, they must fight for their own. No matter how righteous our cause may be, whatever our suffering was in the past, these truths never assure victory. Force against force, that is war. Only brute strength ensures victory, and with victory survival, this is the true essence of our battle against Radam. I have seen my relatives slashed to death, witness their slaughter, so I fight. That's my philosophy. Fight. Can lose. You don't understand. That's the same Tekka man he fought before. What are you talking about? He's different. Can't you see I'm winning? It's useless to continue. Give yourself to me. I offer you a dignified death. He can talk. Chief, what's going on? You mean that's not a Radom Tekka man? No, he's not. He is like us. He's from Earth. But that's impossible! Why? Why do you despise me? Good. Ask yourself that question. I'm glad I let you live long enough to ask that. But know this, I'm here to end your life! <laughs> You are dead! Oh, Decker! Die!
can't let him defeat you! Don't give up! Don't give up! Oh! No! I won't let him kill you! I won't let you die! Stay out of this. Blade's gone. Defeated. Maybe. But it's not Tekaman Blade I'm worried about. Yeah. Blade's gone, and we all worked together to save him. But we lost. He can't die. He can't. D-Boy, you have to live. We've done everything we can. Now it's up to him. It all depends on his will to live. We've come too far for you to give up now, Blade. You can't die. Not here. Not now. You've got to fight. Chief, who is the Tekka man that defeated D-Boy? We don't know, Natasha. One thing is certain, he's a highly trained combat Tekka man. We know he's not one of Radam's, so there's only one other possibility. And that is, he's a survivor of Prague. Oh, where? Of Prague? Could it be? Yeah, I'm afraid I'm not feeling very well. Besides, Mommy gets mad if I miss curfew. Don't get upset. Teddy's better company than me. Ugh, jerk! <laughs> you have to lose. Why couldn't I save you? You can't die. <laughs>
it's me. Are you all right? What are you doing out here? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, you don't look well. I'm gonna get you a doctor. Uh, no, don't go. <gasps> Please, don't go. Don't. What? What's wrong, David? <gasps> So where's David? Don't know. Probably sleeping late in some young lady's room. He wouldn't let his personal life interfere with his work. I thought his personal life was his work, but whatever. Uh, Yumi! I'm gonna go find David! Yumi? <laughs> David? David? You're late! We're ready to leave! What's going on? David! David! I knew it. I had a feeling you'd be here. Why is that? I don't know, I just knew it. I guess I'm too lonely to be alone. But when I'm with my friends, I get annoyed. I figured you'd understand. Yeah. You want to get a drink or something? Uh, sure. He doesn't know. He doesn't know who I am. So, your name is Dead? Dead end. It's my nickname. I don't remember my real name. Dead end, huh? My name fits your state of mind, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can guess the reason. All right. Is it money? No. Friends? Nope. Family? Don't have family. Right. You got in trouble at work. Well, it is work-related, I guess. You could say, I don't know. Well, then it's gotta be a woman. Bingo. Yeah, right. It's a woman. I keep telling myself to get over her. She's interested in someone else. Someone I thought was beyond me, better than me, stronger and more brave. But it turned out he wasn't invincible. He could be beaten. He was defeated and I saw it all. Defeated. But she still loves him. She cares for him now more than ever before.
He's in love with that devil, the red Tekka man. Hey, I'm sorry. I got really stupid back there. Self-pity's pretty obnoxious. That's okay. I relate. My heart's been broken. Really? Yeah, and if I was a girl, your story would really have me wanting to take care of you. Those tear jerkers are a turn on. No kidding. Maybe I should use it next time I'm on a date. Maybe. Of course, if I could go on a date, I wouldn't be having these problems. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> So what about you? What's your story? It's not a story I like to tell. Sorry. That's okay. Hmm. Hey there, that sure is a beautiful young lady you have walking with you tonight. Why don't you share her with us? She's too cute for just one guy. We're not looking for trouble. Besides, my friend here is... <sighs> hey, hey. David. Let's have some fun, why not? You're not scared, are you? Um... You punk! Let's go! I ain't leaving till these two are dead! Good exercise, huh? Oh, yeah. Crystal. Why did you run away? Those guys back there, they were the way I used to be, David. Hmm? They're confused. They don't know their own strength or what to make of it. Anyway, that's the way we used to be. We? Are you a primary body? You said we. Are there more of you? There were, but they died. Five years ago, back in Prague. Prague? Are you talking about Black September? So then, there have been many troubling disturbances around the galaxy since Blade was brought down. The situation is all too familiar. It's reminiscent of the Black September Rebellion in Prague five years ago. Not Prague. Not again. Wasn't that the Tekkeman Rebellion, Chief? Yes. Now let us remember. The primary bodies had been oppressed and persecuted by the local government. They had succeeded in establishing their own Tekka plant in global year 198. This disturbed the military who wanted to exert complete control over the primary Tekka men. The balance between humans and Tekka men had been disrupted. The Space Knights grew restless. They did not want to blindly serve the interests of the state and began plotting to win their independence. At that time, Prague was headquartered to the Outer Space Development Agency, and the global government considered the emancipated Tekka man to be a threat to astral security. They felt it would be safer to destroy them rather than to risk a massive mutiny. So in September of that year, the global government met and determined to mount a massive military offensive. They authorized the army to exert all necessary force in order to crush the rebellion. The 17th Soul Tekka Brigade was discharged to mount their attack on the city of Prague. The battle quickly intensified as the army was met with significant resistance on the ground.
After weeks of battle, there was no hope of a settlement. No end in sight. What was that? Did you say a reactor attack? Yes, it was just decided in the staff conference. But there must be another way. A bomb could cause complete destruction. What about Aki? She's still fighting. The rebellion can be suppressed. You're not listening! I have no power anymore. It's all been stripped away. One of the officers tried to stop the conference and he was detained. There's no time left. Warn them. Get the word out to them immediately or else they'll all... Commodore Noir, you need to come with me. Forgive them, and may God have mercy on us all. That's right. Say your prayers. You'll need them where you're going. I... I hope it's not too late. We didn't know anything about it. None of it. Nobody told us. Why would they? everything. Everyone. Everyone I loved. Gone in an instant. Forever. I hate them. Every last one of them. I hate the army. The Space Knights. I'll have my revenge. Huh? You're not gonna try to- That's right, you've guessed it. And I've only been waiting five years. I'm gonna revenge myself on the Red Decker Man. No, you can't! Well, who's gonna stop me, David? You or maybe Decker Man Summer? Listen, Ted, you don't understand. You can't do this! No, you don't understand. How could you? I was there. What? I was there that September. My friends and I, we were all there that day. In Prague. <laughs> Your people have been misled by lies and misconceptions. They are being taught that Tekamen are superior to humans. This is not so. No one is superior. Tekamen and human are equal. There is room in Prague for both. I hope, as a crystal holder, this is something that you will never forget. Tekamen! No, wait! Don't you remember me? I saw you in the alley a little while ago. I watched you. So... Nothing. Just tell me about the crystal. I've been looking for you and I... I... What is that? The defense army. What? What are they doing? Don't look back. The Defense Army went too far. They did the unthinkable. The Space Knights were not to blame. Now do you understand? I understand nothing. Huh? I like you, David. I really do. But you need to grow up. Dad, listen to me. You don't know what you're doing. Please! I can see why you like her, David. Huh? So then, 
You should see why I find her so very annoying. I'm gonna kill her. I just wonder if I have to kill you. Tell me, do I? Yeah, no! Do this! I can't let you stop me. Good. Space Knights, move out. Let me go. I can't do that. Okay, have it your way. That's right, David. You know I'm not the enemy. I'm just like you. But if I'm not the enemy, you better know who is. Heat sensor is picking up something that's moving down below. Chief, it's probably David. All right, then, let's go. Roger! I don't get it. I shouldn't stand a chance against him. After all, he's the guy that almost killed Blade. He's wounded. Wait! You still don't get it, do you? If you want to stop me, you'll have to kill me. I get it. Yeah? I know what you want, and I won't be your executioner. Dead. I know you're wounded. David, please. She is dead. No, dead. David, come on, David. I'm counting on you. That's what friends are for. That's right. Come on. Without Blade, there's no one else who can stop me. You're the only one. Please, I want to join the others. The people of Prague. Why? What? Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance, David? You should have done it when you had that chance. Dad, I... I couldn't. Kill him. David. I couldn't do it. He wasn't my friend. Your friend tried to kill you, didn't he? Chief. He almost killed Blade. Remember what I told you back in Prague, David? That human and Tekka man are equal? Your friend doesn't realize it yet. As long as he lives, 
Black September can happen again. We must never forget the lessons of Prague. So, your name is Dead? Dead End. It's my nickname. Don't remember my real name. Dead End, huh? He's a survivor of Prague. From Prague? Could it be? Dead! No! No matter how righteous our cause may be, what our suffering was in the past, these things never assure victory. Force against force. That is war. Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance, David? You should have done it when you had the chance. Dad, I, I couldn't. Disappeared. Yumi and D-Boy? You gotta be kidding. Uh, I don't believe it. Yumi wouldn't do that. She did. Everything's gone crazy. Huh? Mm. Everything's crazy since Dead End showed up. What do you mean? I wonder where they are. Yumi and D-Boy. Still can't believe it. It's been a whole month and still no word. There's nothing. Oh, you scared me. You're wondering where they might be, aren't you, Hayato? Yeah. They ran away. Hey! Yumi would never run away! Not ever! You know that. At least I think she wouldn't. Anyway, I believe in her, Honda. Then why don't you act like it? Huh? You worry too damn much about what people are thinking of you. I see you trying to act cool, but if you have faith in Yumi, say so. If you love her, show it. There's no shame in that. Really? Well, all I know is if I'd worried less about what people thought and been more honest when I was young, I'd, <laughs> I'd have been more popular with the ladies. <laughs> no kidding. Well, the chief wants to see you, now get out of here. Roger. Thanks, Honda. <sighs> D-Boy, I believe in you, son. I have to. Why the urgent meeting, Chief? Have you found Yumi and D-Boy? No, we haven't found them. But we have located Tekaman dead, or as he calls himself, Dead End. It has come to our attention that he's been spotted in the Old Town section of Prague, and that he's taken possession of the Teka plant originally used by the army. Hmm? Not that. Not the Teka plant. Natasha. Chief, I had no idea they had a Tekka plant there. After fighting Tekka Man dead, I'm sure you all must have questions about him. Such as, how did he become a Tekka Man? And how is it that he had the fighting strength to prevail over Tekka Man Blade? It's because the Tekka plant in Prague was not a plant created by human beings. What? Uh -huh. It is the remnant of a Radam Tekka plant and the same Tekka plant that created D-Boy Tekka Man Blade 10 years ago. Years ago, the army captured the facility and took control of it. That's how they learned of the Tekka Man technology and harnessed it for their own purposes. It is the technology that created the insane Tekka Man of Black September five years ago. And now, it has caused the creation of Tekka Man Dead. So... What is he doing there now? He's waiting to die. What? Huh? Well, right now, all he wants is for someone to kill him. He wants to die there so he can be buried in the soil of Prague. That's what he wants. He wants to die. 
He's hoping the army will take notice, hoping they'll fear him, hoping they'll deploy a force as they did five years ago and come ready and willing to destroy Prague once again. That's why he's there. Shut up! Stop it! That's enough about Prague. Just shut up! Really, Octay, it's all right. But Natasha, I thought you said... You told me. Goliate! But... Please. It's all right. Yeah. All right, everyone. That's enough. We need to put personal matters aside. Now look at the screen. Whoa, what is it, Chief? The flashing areas indicate outbreaks, relatively small revolts of primary Tekaman. They started at the same time as Tekaman Dead began his occupation of the plant. We Space Knights have served as the deterrent to primary bodies who survived the Black September of Prague. But we were unable to defeat Tekaman Dead. Tekaman Dead's power proved to be so great that he defeated Tekaman Blade. And they found out. The news of Blade's defeat has prompted plans for a new revolt with Tekaman Dead as their strongest ally. At this very moment, the primary Tekaman are headed for Prague. And given the seriousness of the situation, I'm sure the armed forces are considering drastic action. It's happening again. Another Black September in Prague. That's right. It's happening again. Another Black September. <laughs> I'm going to military headquarters and try to negotiate for time. You guys proceed to the 38th military route. It's the only access to Prague. Wait there and prevent any primary tech command progress. Roger! Blue Earthcraft, launch. <laughs> Please, Chief, you have to convince my father. You have to. Space Knight Chief Aki Kisaragi. I'm here to see the General. I've got something on radar. Looks like primary Tekamen. Let's see. What are we gonna do, Natasha? Are we landing? Natasha? Yes? Let's go. Let's continue on to Prague. Gentlemen, I thought I was here to see General Pavlocheva. Where is he? The reactor warhead is ready. Excellent. The target is Prague. You have to stop this, Dead. Now! Stop what, David? You know what I'm talking about. You're going to turn Prague into a battlefield. You're going to cause another Black September, and the primary tech men are doing this because of you! Well, I'm not what they think I am. The point is, they believe what they think you are. They think you're the indestructible tech man And you know it! They've believed that ever since you defeated Blade! There's a whole bunch of primary techmen approaching the 50-mile perimeter. What's taking David so long? We need to do something. Quiet. Not yet. We'll wait. Have faith. Give him a chance. You do have a choice. You can stop this and join us. 
join the Space Knights. I was wondering when you'd get around to that. Well, why not? Impossible. I can't do that. Uh. I've tried to forget, but I can't. No matter how hard I try, David. Look at this. Every time I see this charred soil, it pulls me back to that day. It never lets me go. I can't forget it! Anyway, it's a nice offer, David. Thanks. By the way, my offer still stands. Kill me and it's over. I'm not gonna fight you. I told you that. All you have to do is kill me. Kill me! No! No! Tasha. This one. She means nothing to me. Are you sure about that? My father destroyed your home. Tell me I mean nothing to you now. What? My father is General Pavlocheva, chief of staff for the army. Recognize the name? You should. He was the one who planned the destruction of Prague. What? He's the one who gave the order five years ago. He's the one who burned your home and friends to ash. Natasha, what are you doing? He'll kill you. Well? Do I mean something to you now? Do I? This is the only way. Come on, David. Ah! Ah! Tasha! Tech! Set up! No! Ah! Natasha, you all right? Yeah. Now that's more like it, David. Oh, excuse me. Tech Command Summer. Goliate, look! Huh? It's gonna be too late. The rebels have invaded the old town district of Prague. Acknowledged. Awaiting the order from headquarters. Enough! I'm not going to fight anymore. I want you to listen. Just listen to me, dead. David, please. 
I want to die by the hand of someone with the same past as I am. Please, send me where my friends are. Please. Please. for us. gonna be all right, David. Where have you been? I'm sorry, David, but I told D-Boy about Dead. I told him you were friends. He knows, and he told me everything would be fine. But the last time Dead defeated Blade. He'll be all right this time. I've been helping him with special training. You'll see. So that's what Yumi and D-Boy were doing for the last month. Hey, I hope you heard that, you lovesick, heartbroken, silly little clown. Oh, Yumi. You can never win. Never! To fight me is useless! Are you really that sad? What? You're drowning in sorrow from your past. It's killing you. You have no life. You don't understand. You can't understand. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'll kill you! What do you know? I lost my family, my friends! You don't know what it's like! What are you doing? Come on, we have to go help Blade now. Take it easy. What's the matter, Blade? Talk's cheap. Actions speak louder than words. We'll end this now! I'll bury you in the soil of Prague, teach you a little lesson about sorrow and pain! You cannot win. No! Right. D-Boy will not lose. Tekaman Blade is invincible. His physical strength does not matter. It is his strength of will, the power of his dreams. He has the will to survive. He dreams of saving, not destroying, of life, not death. Yumi, what are you gonna do? Get out of our way! We're going to Master Dead! Tekamen and humans are the same, but you refuse to see that. So, have it your way. No matter how many times he gets beaten, he goes on. His will keeps him going. That is what strength is. Strength of a survivor. Yes. That is his strength. Refusing to quit, refusing to lose. He will not be defeated. Uh, I will not be defeated. I will not be defeated. I believe. I have faith. Full second! Is Blade all right? I don't know. Full second!
soul was lost in the memory of Prague. Your heart was filled with hate. Both have been returned to you. Blade. From now on, live in the present and fight for the future. Hey, Dad. Hey, Yumi, it's over. You can stop now. Oh. Yumi, you did a great job. Thanks. <sighs> Glad that's over. We seem to have prevented mass destruction. Kooky. Someone else is new. What? Fire! They're going to do it. They're actually going to do it. Not if I can help it. Pegasus! Take center! Is it? Yeah, it's the chief. <laughs> Quick, everyone, we've got a helper! Right! Dad, come back! Let me handle this. Dead. Attention, this is an emergency. The Radom fleet has invaded Jupiter airspace. All Tekaman meet in control room for briefing immediately. This will be your second encounter with Radom, and I have total confidence in you. Good luck, you guys. Thanks, Chief. Hey, Chief, there's an unidentified object attacking the Radom fleet, and they're disappearing. What? what? Good God. What has that kind of power? I think I know. Hey, Dad. I had a feeling. I should have known you'd be alive. Let's go, Space Knights! Roger! Roger!